Christopher Newport faced off against rival Mary Washington on Saturday night in the C2C championship game. And what some thought might be a hostile environment for the captains turned out to be a good crowd in favor of the visiting squad. Christopher Newport's fans traveled well this weekend and were treated to two more wins, including Saturday's 75-56 victory over the Eagles to clinch their fourth consecutive conference championship. CNU trailed briefly in the first quarter, but took the lead with just over a minute to go in the opening frame and never looked back. In the second, the captains went on a 16-4 run to establish a 15-point lead, and that was all they would need in this one. Running the margin to 19 when all was said and done. The captains were led by C2C Tournament MVP Gabby San Diego, who had 19 points. They also had 17 from starting senior Katie Rader. Head coach Bill Broderick said after the game they got what they expected from Mary Washington and had to battle hard to pick up the win. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we knew we were going to get a tough battle today. Uh, Mary Wash, I mean, hats off to them. Um, super well coached. Uh, their girls played really, really hard today, so we knew it was going to be a tough game. Fifth-year senior Sandra Fan in a quiet night, still managed 10 points of her own, but had nothing but praise for her teammates who picked up the slack offensively. Absolutely amazing. Gabby and Katie are always there every night, whether they're scoring 5, 10 points or 19 and 20 points. Uh, they're always there. They always play hard. They always bring good energy. Yeah, I thought, you know, I thought Mary Washington did a great job of really focusing on trying to take Sandra Fan away and, and Anaya Simmons. And so, um, you know, we can go through them and use them as passers as well. And I think Mary Wash did a great job of really taking them out of it. And so we were able to go to other people and have other people step up. And talking to the two big stars in this one, they gave credit to their preparation and a little extra rest heading into the final on Saturday night. I think um, we just played very smart basketball today and like we tried to KYP them very well, like know our personnel very well. Um, obviously they still have the studs that they do and they'll get the buckets that they get, but um, I think we played really well as a team. I think it definitely helped us get a quick start, but also kept us in it longer. I think we got to wear them down with um, the steals and the turnovers that they had and then also just buckets and just trying to get a stop every time. And um, yeah, we just wore them down eventually and I think that allowed us to um, lengthen the lead like we did. I mean, in matchups like this, we play this team a million times. We kind of know a lot of their focus is going to go to Anaya and Sani. So with a lot of doubles and stuff like that, we just stay ready on the perimeter and looking to attack and create. So just playing in rhythm. That rhythm allowed CNU to get everybody in the game and 10 different captains in the scoring column. As the top-ranked team in the nation, I asked Coach Broderick what seems different about this team than years past. We're pretty similar where we are. Um, I think we're still bringing some people along. We're, we're just happy that we were able to take care of our own business to put ourselves in the tournament. And everybody's zero and zero now, so we'll, you know, we'll go out and we'll give it our best shot. The captains are now 26-0 on the season and will learn what their next step is on the road towards a national championship on Monday afternoon at 2.30. Stay tuned to CNUsports.com and CNU Athletics on social media for updates on what's next for the Lady Captains. For CNUsports.com, I'm Rob Smith.